What is going on today? We are reviewing Babyface Ray's new album, Face. There's, I think, 19 tracks on your 20 tracks on the album, 19 or 20 tracks on the album. Before this album, well, still, I haven't been the biggest fan of Babyface Ray. Heard his album last year and the deluxe, so 14 total songs last year. Was not a fan at all. I thought it was pretty bad, actually. Um, didn't like the nonchalant, very laid-back flow and style. Really was not a fan of that. Thought it was pretty boring and un un and uninteresting. Um, with this album, though, I think I think it's an improvement. And there's actually one song, which I'll get to soon, that I actually came away from the album with, and some other highlights on the album. Um, songs that are better and maybe exceeded expectations a little bit. Um, still not an album that I love or a style that I'm really really going to get into. But he definitely made progress with this album, in my opinion. I know there's people that do like this style. I'm not the biggest fan of this kind of very nonchalant, very, very, very laid back, falling asleep flow and delivery and style and sound. Um, but it grew on me a little bit with this album. And I think stylistically, I think he grew a little bit and improved overall with this album as well. Most of the album was unappealing to me. But there's, there was highlights, and overall, like I said, it was an improvement. Some of the highlights being the second song on here. Six Mile Show featuring Icewear Vezo. I think they blended well together, and the beat switches as well as the flow switches um, contributed to, to the song overall and the enjoyability um, of the song. Songs like the next one after that, the third track, Sincerely Face, really don't stand out to me a whole lot. Some of the songs on here where he d really doesn't change his flow or sound throughout the entire song and the beat is pretty um, st stagnant the, the entire song. Those are the ones that don't stand out to me a whole lot and really don't bring out the best in Babyface Ray and don't appeal to me a whole lot sound wise and style wise either. I do like the little bit of differentiation he does provide throughout the project though. Like Overtime featuring Young Lean being more of a, a, a song with a, a, a pop hook. Uh, from Young Lean and the style is definitely different so it's nice to have a change up like that and get a break from the the songs like Sincerely Face that are just that nonchalant very stagnant not really changing the flow or anything the songs with that that kind of style and sound. G Herbo had a pretty good verse on Blood Sweat and Tears he blended well and fit well into the song um, overall Blood Sweat and Tears wasn't Anything outstanding, I'm not the biggest fan of G Herbo either. I think he's a decent artist. Um, but it was a, a deeper song, deeper cut off the album. Um, one of the better ones on here for sure. I think it's definitely bearable to listen to. The next song, Same Pain, talks about his lifestyle and pain as well. Definitely as well one of the better ones and deeper ones on here as well. 42 Doug had a decent feature on Let Me Down. Still, the, the style sound just doesn't appeal to me a whole lot. I get the appeal of a song like this, especially with guys like this coming together that have similar styles. Um, I definitely get the appeal of it. I think they blended well together and the song sounded all right. It was bearable, but still doesn't appeal to me a whole lot. Now, the one song I came away from the album with is M.O.B. Uh, production on there is actually really good. It's easily the best produced song on the album and, and uh, it's the one song I came away from the album with because of the production and the flow which is actually kind of interesting on here. Um, hook is catchy as well. Um, it's not an amazing song but I actually have come back to it quite a few times in the last few days and I think he actually um, blended well with the production and created a good hook to create a song that, that's actually interesting and not really boring and doesn't sound the same. Actually a pretty interesting song with a catchy hook and actually a great beat as well. Palm Angels, Palm's Itching is too short. Seems like seems too short. Seems he, like he doesn't really get anything going before the song ends. It's I think a minute and a half or so long. Um, it had some potential but it just being so short it's hard to even form an opinion on, on it. The song with Wiz Khalifa was one of the better ones on here as well. Definitely one of the highlights on the album. Wiz Khalifa had a pretty decent feature. A decent hook on there as well as pretty good production on there. Probably the second best produced track on the album besi or besides M.O.B. Now, some of the, the cons of the album, some things I think could have been better um, would definitely be hooks. Um, hooks aren't really catchy besides... M.O.B. and the song with Wiz Khalifa uh, has a decent hook. Besides that, hooks really aren't 
any a, a strength of Babyface Ray, in my opinion. No real catchy hooks. Um, it's something that I definitely look for most of the time, a catchy hook. And he really didn't provide that aside from on MOB. Being that the album is still 20 tracks long. The album last year was 14 after the deluxe version, after the seven tracks were added last year. This one's 20 songs long. So a lot of them do sound the same. I did say earlier that there was a good amount of differentiation and different songs and styles, which there is, but still a lot of them that go back to that really nonchalant, mellow style really do sound the same. Um, a lot of them do. That's definitely one of the cons of the album. Um, and I'm still just not, not a huge fan of the style and of the sound or of just his flow or his voice. Um, just not, not the biggest fan. It doesn't appeal to me a whole lot. Kind of boring and un uninteresting most of the time. Um, some of the songs on here though, the one with, with Wiz Khalifa, M.O.B., uh, Six Mile Show with, with Ice Ford Vezo. Some of the better ones on here. Um, Overtime with Young Lean as well. Um, some some decent tracks and some highlights on here. MOB being the, the standout on me out of every song on here. 20 songs is a lot. It's just under an hour long. So a lot of, of them do end up sounding the same, like I said. Production was pretty good um, on, a, on a few tracks. I think it, it could have been better, but it was decent throughout the album. Um, hooks need to be better. Hooks weren't amazing on here, like I said earlier. But overall, this is definitely an improvement from the last album. And... It wasn't too bad of a listen. It really wasn't a bad listen. Um, his style and sound definitely grew on me. Still not a fan. Not even close to being a fan, but it definitely grew on me um, quite a bit. Um, and I'm happy with this improvement. It's definitely an improvement. Still not great in my opinion, but definitely an improvement from his work from last year. Um, rating for the album, um, probably going to give it a three and a half four out of 10, somewhere around there. Not too high, um, but definitely an improvement from last year. I really didn't like the album last year. Best songs, MOB really is the only standout track on here. Um, more songs, I don't think there was any that were, that were too bad or terrible, but some that just really, a lot of them just really just boring and un uninteresting with that monotone delivery in my opinion. Thank you for watching. Drop your thoughts on the album down in the comment section. Drop a like and subscribe as well, and I'll see you in the next video.